An Indian buffet is an absolutely fabulous way to see what you like and what you don't like when it concerns Indian cuisine. And there are many different selections that you can get in a high quality Indian buffet where there's great attention and detail that is focused on the food and the way it's prepared. So this is sesame vegetables with some onion pakoras with a lentil soup that is drenched on top of it. And so I mix a couple of things together. And you also have a, a mutter uh, based dish that's uh, here as well, along with some green beans or string beans. Actually, I think it's just green beans, but it, they are all prepared in a way that is absolutely tasty and absolutely delightful, especially the sesame vegetables to the upper left there. And so the green beans, I'm trying to get my my helping of greens, right? I don't want it to, to all be, um, you know, uh, savory cooked uh, food that, you know, uh, leans on the more uh, comfortable side, might we say. But these are onion pakoras, right? And I drenched uh, lentil, uh, lentil soup on top of it so that it can, you know, loosen up the dryness, right? Or balance out the dryness. Now, the sesame vegetables, the coating here, I'm not familiar with what it's coated in, but it tastes absolutely phenomenal. And so... We got broccoli, we got cauliflower, we got a number of different vegetables that's um, cooked in a, in a savory sauce, and so it's absolutely phenomenal. But my idea to put the onion pakoras in the dal soup, the dal curry, uh, was a great decision to loosen up the dryness. And so um, Cafe India on Hex Crossroad has an absolutely fabulous buffet. And according to the people that run the buffet, it's a different buffet every day. I don't show all the meat dishes in this particular discussion. Uh, my focus was more on the vegetable um, side of the buffet. But know that this is a buffet that has three uh, sections to it. There's a, a vegetable section, right? We wouldn't call it a vegan section, but some elements are, are vegan, but most are just what you would call vegetarian because there is a little bit of ghee butter that's involved in some of the preparation in some of these meals. But other than that, um, you got the veg vegetarian side, and then there's the side that is the meat side, and then you have what you might call the condiment side, right? And every side of every section of this buffet is absolutely done well. I love those green beans, and I normally don't do grains, but you know I just wanted to try this particular grain preparation on this occasion. It it is um, reminiscent of vegetable biryani, and this is a dal soup, and or two different uh, dal based um, dishes here, and so um, I believe that's a mutter dish up above and then below is a doll based dish to my left the dark orange that's uh, methi malai sabzi okay and doll palak lemon rice snow peas all right so but up to my upper left the dark orange um that's butter paneer i don't touch the stuff right it actually tastes extremely good right when i've had it way in the past but I wouldn't eat it in the present time because the amount of dairy ingredients uh, exceeds uh, my, my tolerance level, right? But for those that um, love that type of dish, um, I say go for it, you know, if that's, if that's your thing. And then there are the meat dishes. There's a huge assortment of meat dishes, a little bit of naan uh, here on the edge, right? For those who want to uh, partake of a little naan, all you can eat naan, right? So I'm going to try some naan on this occasion. I've been to this buffet a few times and I don't always do the naan, right? And then this is the condiment section, just a brief view of that. We have, um, I believe this is mango chutney, if I'm, if I'm uh, not mistaken. Oh, and then I want to zero in on this. This is a corn key chat, all right? 
Um, chats are not something I've seen on buffets in the past, but it's good to uh, get exposure to that on this occasion. And I generally try to avoid corn, but this uh, this this chat was uh, you know uh, I could I couldn't uh, pass it up just to give it a give it a shot right. And so um, I'm going in and out on different sections of this buffet because I want to be respectful of those that are uh, around me and not uh, you know make this a, a what do you call that? A cinematic event, right? Um, but I just wanted to share what I had experienced at this buffet and um, you know, make others aware that there are a variety, a huge variety of uh, vegetarian options out there where you can try, try things out, right? And so this is what one of my plates look like. And so... Um, and then here's another plate. And I got Papa Dom. That's what those crispy uh, bread uh, things are. Um, Papa Dom can look different depending on the, the Indian restaurant. And here I have a good mix of items together. That's tamarind. Tamarind is said to be able to open the third eye. But uh, this is co peanut coconut. And then this is uh, mint chutney. So I got tamarind, peanut coconut, and uh, mint chutney. And... You can use those sauces in a variety of ways, right? Those those condiments. But so all of this came together very well. Those, it tastes going to, absolutely uh, phenomenal. Real quick. And so, I don't know what the rotation is on this buffet. This like I say, here, because I want to it's a sure different I item lighter weight stuff. And I tell every you, single day. Really and Sundays, the buffet is, is um, and this, uh, a little bit more elaborate, spicy. right? And, and so you see more items uh, on the buffet and um, the richness a, of a the particular and dishes, in my opinion, is on another so level. I can't wait to try that. During the week, the, the food is absolutely sauce, awesome. But, and, yeah, so, you know, one thing that ran in the back of my mind well. was, you know, how can you pull this off uh, on, the, on the daily? And so this is my I'm going to, that's a, that's a mystery and that I'm going to answer in a future the, uh, video this is that's a doll, mystery that I'm gonna answer but curry. this this doll palette is absolutely ph phenomenal I absolutely love it and I already forgot what this is but uh, this is this is great absolutely great uh, uh, dish here and that's the corn key chat right can't forget that and the snow peas snow peas are very well done this is the type of um, so, attention to detail in cooking and cuisine that and rivals a five-star restaurant, in my opinion, but right? I have to try a little and bit of everything, I haven't been to a five-star restaurant often, uh, right? But I've been a couple of times. Let's say and, uh, um, about ten times future, I've been to a five-star restaurant. And in my like opinion, this, and, uh, this food this is totally awesome. matches the, the taste sensation. So this co coconut peanut the, sauce, this peanut sauce is, is phenomenal, is and it mixes a with peanuts, everything, a everything. Okay, and so, I didn't know such a sauce was even possible. This tamarind sauce is, is sweetened with jaggery, right? Jaggery is a natural sugar, right? So this is not processed uh, sugar, this is not a table sugar, this is natural sugar, right? Jaggery. And I'm going to reveal the mystery on where these ingredients come from or potentially come so from um, in a future video. Food. But just know for now is, right that this, this, is this tamarind sauce is absolutely that, wonderful. I would just say I use really it sparingly. Like this, uh, it would go uh, best with uh, like a bread or it would go uh, or with Papa Dom, right? And so, but I don't uh, get access to tamarind often. This, this is a different dish on a different day. That's tomato coconut soup. This is um, Shana Cor That's uh, Bangin Barta right there. That's Bangin Barta. That's uh, Chana Korma, not Chana Masala. Totally different. And I dare say it tastes better. I've mixed a little rice into this um, tomato coconut uh, soup just to bring it up a little bit. But, and then that's a, a puri. All you can eat puris are like 
you know, this is the way I should whoever, have. whoever thought of that is like, that's, that's awesome. And the, and I forgot what this is, um, but this is absolutely great. So, you know, if I am at a loss of words, you can just insert the, the phrase, this is absolutely great, and you'll, you'll get the idea. So I'm going to use the peanut coconut sauce on top of this pakora. And, um, and then this, uh, I forgot what it is. I think it's corn in like a, a type of uh, nice uh, sesame base, right? Um, and then I, I, my idea was to mix it with the peanut coconut, right? And it came together extremely well, right? So I didn't, I didn't leave anything on my plates, right? The, all the plates were clean. I cleaned them all the way through. And so, but yeah, that went well with that peanut coconut sauce. And it was, it's absolutely phenomenal. And then that mint chutney, that goes great with everything, literally everything. And so here I just got to experiment with different flavors, different ingredients, and different combinations. And I was able to use the tomato coconut soup and some chilies because they have a, a vegetable part of the um of the buffet, the condiment area where it's just uh, raw vegetables. So I got access to raw chilies. I actually mixed it in this uh, coconut, not in this this one that you see here, but I got another serving of it. And I was able to cure my little uh, cold that I caught over like a three or four day period. I was able to go to the buffet and create like a medicinal herbal mix using a buffet and cure a little bit of a cold that had developed. And that, that cold was my fault because I ate too much uh, dates with chocolate and nut butters. And so that combination of cocoa powder, nut butters, and dates, I did it to excess, which uh, created a pathway for pathogens to um, do their thing. But I was able to reverse that uh, by lowering my consumption of those type of ingredients and boosting my consumption of these healthier ingredients. Bangin' Barta and Chana Corman. Those, those two, they're absolutely phenomenal. Phenomenal. Here's a different mix-up of the same ingredients. I mixed the coconut uh, peanut sauce with the um, Bangin' Barta and added a little mango chutney in there um, just to uh, you know, liven things up a little bit. You, you don't need to liven the Bangin' Barta. But, uh, and then this is a cassala, mango cassala Lassi, I believe, and I mix a little tamarind with that, and um, this is the tomato, tomato coconut uh, soup, and that's one of the chilies, and what I did is I cut it up, right, I actually I swallowed one of the chilies whole, just, just because, I mean, that's just going to go in and just really do its work on the, the pathogens, right, and so, anyway, but I also uh, got some more chilies, and this is uh, Italy. I've, I had Italy for the first time a couple of weeks ago, but I was surprised that you, if you could get all you can eat on this buffet. This is a different day, by the way. And so these are different ingredients and that I'm experimenting with, right? I just want to see how different things work together. And I got to do that, but I couldn't believe I could get all I could eat Italy. And I forgot what... Oh, this is Sunday Buffet. And they actually custom made some of the stuff. They had attendants at the buffet. They custom made certain things. And it was absolutely awesome, right? And um, I, I wish I'd remember what, what these items are. All I can say is that they're good. I do remember one of the items. It is sandbar. So in the upper right, that's sandbar. All you can eat sandbar on this occasion. And then this is chilies, I believe that were sauteed and simmered um, to a refined level. And so absolutely phenomenal, right? And then I believe that's a doll that I was able to add in with that. I want to mix in some doll with that. And so, um, but yes, um, absolutely wonderful, wonderful stuff. So, and I had to pass on the yogurt when I went through when they made this for me. Um, it's a bunch of chots, right? And then I added um, some, I, I added some, uh, what, a, a tomato sauce and peanut coconut uh, sauce uh, to this, right? Uh, just so I can have a couple of things together. And um, absolutely wonderful, wonderful uh, uh, taste.
that, that is here. So this is Cafe India, and they have great water uh, in copper flasks, and copper is known to help charge water. So you're getting charged water, um, you know, at, at, this, uh, at this place. And I hope you have an opportunity to try it out because it's an absolutely phenomenal experience.